Hey everyone, Agram for us here, and in uh, part one of my collection update, I'm going to be covering my Wizards of the Coast binder, uh, leading up all the way to Neo Destiny. Uh, part two will be continuing on from E series and going through EX, and uh, part three of the binders, at least, will. Uh, finish up my EX series collection and uh, a little something else that's kind of newer. So, I'm going to move the binder out of the way. Jeez, nothing stuff over here. I'm going to move the binder out of the way, set the camera down, lower my chair, and uh, show you guys the hollows first, which you already have seen multiple times, but I figure why not once more? Charizard is getting extra glare because it's super protected. And there we go. So, usually you don't lead with your best, but I figured that I would. So these are all the sleeves that I would normally use for my collection, but they're in the top loaders. So we will continue on. I am only missing currently 15 cards from base set, which is a, a wonderful number. The ideal number obviously would be zero, but what can you do? I do believe I have all the commons though, which is just nice. It's a start, definitely. So yeah. So yes, I do have all the commons. That's that's good. I am missing just a few trainer rares. And uncommons as well. So there we go. Alright, so we get into jungle, and I would like to credit this Jolteon to the awesome Cake of Pi, uh, who I mentioned in my first sale video is giving me a bunch of uh, Noble Victory stuff. He also gave me Nido Queen, which was really nice as well. That was really helpful. And another Vaporeon. So this is actually the original one I had, and his is for sale. But don't let that be treated like I don't care for it. Uh, he also sent me a rare Vaporeon as well, which was a great addition. So yeah. So I will have a link to his channel in the description, and I, I implore you to check him out. Now I do actually have a complete set of uh, jungle commons as well. So. I'm doing good on the commons for the Wizards of the Coast sets. Here we get into Fossil. So yeah, I like this uh, Zapdos Hollow. It's really, it's really quite wonderful. Quite. And there are some of the rares I have, and I do have all of the uncommons and commons from Fossil. So that's a, it's a great. It's a great accomplishment to my collection, is having pretty much all of the commons from all of the sets. Except for Jim. The Jim sets I am doing very poorly on. Combined between the two, I need, like, a ton of cards. I really love Dark Golbat as well. It's really sparkly. And I do believe I have all of the uncommons and commons from Rocket as well. And credit for a lot of these goes to Retro Poke, who was one of my top supporters back in the, the good old days. And she sent me a bunch of uh, first edition mint Rocket cards um, for some uh, raffle slots. I believe that was in my Reshiram full art raffle, which was like 50 subscribers or something. So that was 
That was really nice of her, actually, and it really um, took out a huge chunk of the collection that I needed. So we get into uh, Jim Heroes now. I am looking for Misty Cedra non pre release. Rocket Scyther, probably my favorite card of all time, one of. Jeez, I'll, I want to replace this Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. I'm not too much of a stickler about condition, but this is kind of pushing the limits of that uh, lack of importance about condition. That's just like getting ridiculous. Like, yeah, the condition is not a huge deal, but when the card has blatantly had water damage and such, You've start, got to start caring about those things. Now, I don't know why Sabrina was included in Jim uh, Heroes because the Jim Heroes was kind of meant to focus on the first four Jim leaders in in the game, but um, you know what can you do? It's just how they chose to do it, and uh, can't really argue with them because. The cards have already been printed that way. But we do get another Sabrina's Gengar, which is also weird. And then there's a bunch of, like, Erica and Lieutenant Surge. And you're left thinking, like, oh, wait. They were, weren't they trainers who were within the first four gyms? Not the last four. And then there's also Brock. So everybody's making an appearance. So it's not really making a lot of sense. But... Like I said, I can't really question how they printed it because it's not like they're going to change it now. Wizards doesn't even have printing license anymore. And, yeah, there's not really anything you can do. I don't know why they printed energies in both Challenge and Heroes, but there's another thing that you can't do anything about. So we get into Genesis. Uh, credit for the Lugia goes to uh, Jamie who you all have come to know and love. I love this Skarmory, but this is probably my favorite card of all time, to be honest. Sparkle, sparkle. Metal energy. I can feel my chair creaking, and I don't like it. I need to replace this Clefairy. It's got, like, damage. I think it got, like, stuck to another card and then just peeled. Now I was like, sad face. I can't be letting that happen to my cards, so... I would like to get a better condition one, but it's not too big of an issue currently. I really wish my chair would shut up. So we are almost through Genesis and we're making good time. The nostalgia is amazing. I love this Espeon from uh, Neo Discovery. That's where we are now. I love this Hound R2. It's Hound Dower, primetime Pokemon, not Hound Dour. Hound Dour! Honduras! Hound Duras. I just had to make that joke. I love Unknown A. I used to have one of these when I was like six, or whenever. 2001, yeah, I was like six, seven. Whatever the case, I used to have one of those, and it was one of my favorites. I always like the unknowns as well. They're always fun. Okay, I gotta pick it up here a bit. Start ranting about things and I lost track of time. So we get into Neo Revelation with my uh, Celebi, which is the only hollow I have from the set, oddly enough. Oh my god, chair, shut up. Not in the mood for this. And there are my official placeholders for Shining Gyarados and Shining Magikarp. And then we get into Neo Destiny. Oh my god. That's an awesome card. And so is Light Togetic as well. Not as awesome as regular from Neo Genesis, but still. Oh my god. I swear to God, I need a new chair. 
I'm sorry if, I, if me saying oh my god is offending anyone. You don't have to point it out and like really, and get mad at me for saying that. But I do apologize if I'm saying that a little too much. But if you were sitting on a creaky chair trying to record a video, then it would probably be pissing you off too. So. It's just getting really annoying, and I just want to record a video. I don't even know why I'm going in so in depth over every card, but it's just necessary. Sean and Kubu Tops placeholder, get in there. So, there we go. Shining Selby placeholder, Shining Charizard placeholder, Shining Kabutops placeholder, Shining Mewtwo placeholder, Shining Noctowl placeholder, there isn't a colorless energy, and I didn't want to use a double colorless, so just went with that. Shining Raichu placeholder, Shining Steelix placeholder, and Shining Tyranitar placeholder. So, there are 58 pages of Wizards of the Coast glory. So, I hope you guys enjoyed looking through Nostalgia. I always do. Um, part 2 of the binders will be E-Series, as you can see my Ampharos through there. And that is another 60-ish pages of Wonderful. And then, we round off the binders with... Uh, continuation of the EX series and a little something newer in the back. So I will leave you guys with that. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed what I have so far for a little collection update. This is more of like a special if I reached a subscriber milestone, but I'm still like 25 away from 700. So I figured I'd just do it now and get it over with because I really want to document my collection for documentation purposes. So, there you go. Um, I just had an odd pause. And I will also be getting into those things and my personal collection in the white sleeves over there and all sorts of other wonderful stuff. And I will give you guys a total of how many cards I have at the very end and it will all be on this white paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you'll stay tuned for the continuation of my collection update. And I will talk to you guys later with more Pokemon content.